So, finally made the Ghirardelli dark chocolate things like I said I would. Quarter cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, and an egg. So instead of a quarter cup of water, I do a quarter cup of coffee or espresso. And that's the usual thing. And then this, I like kind of put one of these, like kind of split one up and threw them in there. And they're just so good. Now obviously you need to be really into dark chocolate, more bitter tasting mm, coffee things. But I don't know, this is how I tend to do them and I love them. They're the best. Good morning, it is Saturday and I have a couple errands to run but honestly I'm probably going to end up in the office today. I know, boohoo. Anyway, so let me share these sunglasses with you because I love sharing sunglasses with you. This is distracting. This is distracting. Alright, so sunglass spot. Um, these are so cute. I think I keep seeing them on Instagram, so I'm like, oh, I want to get these. These look like they would be a shape that I like. Plus, there's like a pair from Hadid eyewear that I've been seeing that I kind of like, and these kind of look like them. So I'll list the, the number below, but how cute are these? They're like for my face shape. I love them. $5. It's always $5. And they have like a $10 collection. But like these were five. And these are black with like a blue to like yellow gradient. And these are a tortoise frame with a more like, you know, warm, warmer gradient. But how cute, right? I love them. Um, $5. And yes, <laughs> they kind of do feel like they're $5. Also, the other thing is I think if you have a, a slim nose, I think you could enjoy them more than I would because it's quite narrow here. Um, now, if these were like 20 bucks, 50 bucks, I would definitely return them because they sit like kind of right here. But for five bucks, I'm not going to like freak out over them because they're, I love the style so much. Do we agree? It's like a cat eye gradient lens. So I put in an order for, I think there's like, is there like six styles of those? I'm kind of excited. The one pair that's always sold out is like this like champagne-y vibe one that's really nice. Um, I feel like there's like, I have like no makeup on in this. You probably can't see. Like I have very minimal <laughs> because I'm, I know I'm going to end up in the office. So these I also saw on there. Look at these. I was like, these could go really cute or not cute. So, but they go cute, right? Aren't they fun? Also five bucks, rimless. Um, they're just like this reflective kind of neon rainbow situation right so cute and they feel amazing these feel really comfortable i like these a lot but they're also super lightweight so they don't feel expensive but i mean for a look do we love them am i moving too fast i really like these so wanted to share those with you do i look puffy i can't tell i feel like so last vlog i got a tooth pull right <laughs> i have had so much oral work performed as Andrew would say <laughs> and you know at least six or seven root canals I've had cavities filled I've had you know but I've never had a tooth pulled before it is not like other things <laughs> um I couldn't talk properly for like three days I still don't know where to put my tongue and the, when I first started learning how to talk again it definitely felt like I had like, I sounded like the people who talk when they have like a tongue ring. And even now I have to like think about my words so I don't talk like this. Like it's like a semi lisp thing. I don't know, it really hurts though. It's like the lady with the hygienist was like, oh, in the first 48 hours, you know, it'll just be like, you know, your, 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 your numb will wear off and you'll be on like some painkillers. She's like, but the third day is when it really hurts. And she was not kidding, like, <sighs> The third day, and even like today is like what? I got it pulled on Monday, and today is Saturday. It's still really sore, and I'm just like, oh my god. So I'm totally depending on this side for eating. So this side, like my gums are so raw, and I'm just like, I can't, I don't even want to eat because it's like too much effort. Okay, off to errand running. Okay, it is about, I don't know, is it like 8 o'clock or something? It's still pretty sunny out which is nice and I look, probably look so worn um I've been at work for I don't know two like six hours today oh, I don't know guys 
I don't really share that much work stuff with you guys, but if you only knew what was just going on, it's just like, wow. Like, whoa. I did, before going into work though, I did run some errands. I got gas and I went to CVS and I have to share that with you. I'll share it with you tomorrow. Cause so tomorrow's Easter, so everything will be closed. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there'll be a lot of like, there's like a lot of things that I think, oh, I'm going to vlog this or oh, I'm going to vlog that. And then I, the, the week's over and I don't vlog it. So I, I'm trying to keep a list of, what is my, look so weird. Or is it because I look like I have no makeup on? I don't know what it is right now. I feel like everything is completely faded. I was doing high, high, highly concentrated, concentrating today. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to go with my mom. We're going to take Echo on a walk. I don't know why I'm choosing to do this, even though I'm pretty tired. But um, yes. Okay, I am so tired. I woke up at like 8 today, which pretty late. I mean, without an alarm, I naturally wake up between like 6.30 and 7 and yeah, it just means I was tired. <laughs> but anyway, sticky rice, salted duck egg. This is that um, seaweed from Costco, the Maui onion. I found it on Amazon. It's like 13-ish dollars. So maybe I'll buy it from there if my Costco just literally never starts carrying it. And then coffee. I've been starting to put, um, I want to say for the past two weeks, I've been adding a tablespoon to two tablespoons of coconut oil into my coffee. And I love it. Um, I think if you don't love coconut oil, you won't like this. I guess you can get the triple filtered kind, which is like, it removes the taste and smell of coconut, which, uh, why would you want that? But I did, I did buy it just to see what it's like. But yeah, I guess there used to be this thing called bulletproof bullet coffee or bulletproof coffee and that was like butter and coconut oil that people would put into their coffee but i don't know i just the idea of butter in my coffee doesn't sound that great although to some i'm sure coconut oil sounds disgusting too but i've been loving it and it's just it's just supposed to be good for you it helps your metabolism i think any kind of good oils you can ingest is always good for like your skin and your hair so you know it keeps you hydrated from the inside too Okay, Whew. you guys like my no makeup makeup? Oh shit, I put a lot of dry shampoo in my hair. I did wash my hair last night, which is good, but I put a lot of dry shampoo in because there's like, there's like, usually if I blow dry, I'll let it usually like 80 to 90% air dry and then I'll blow dry like the crown, like the top of the hair, but I didn't even do that last night. I just like slept and it's a little flat. So I was like, let me put dry shampoo in this. What is the proper way to zhuzh your hair? I have no idea. Whenever I show you guys how I zhuzh my hair, I'm always like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Okay. That's a lot of zhuzh. Oh God, okay. Also, yes, yeah, there's no makeup makeup kind of. Um, it's like nothing on here, right? Lashes, but like. So, oh God, there's this bag of stuff. I'm like, let me bring my bag of stuff I wanna share. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to properly like sit down either like in the living room or in the beauty room to like film anything for you guys. So I got this shirt yesterday from TJ Maxx. I really like it. Ohio State. Okay. So the sunglasses I showed you guys earlier, the others ones, the other ones that I ordered came in yesterday. So this pair is kind of like just a brown, uh, a black lens with kind of like a, it kind of fades into like a reddish gradient. Probably wear these today because they go with my outfit. The outfit that I'm wearing just to go to work. Then I got these. These I think I need to have kind of like a bougier coat on <laughs> or just like a bougier outfit, like a, like a white button down. Um, but the shape is still really beautiful, right? Class ears. There's one pair that's called like champagne or clear or something. I really want those. But they were out of stock. And then these are purple purple into light it's so pretty right so yesterday i showed you the the ones that go from blue to yellow or blue to green ish and then the other one was um <sighs> tortoise frame with kind of like a red gradient so i mean obviously i really like these glasses i have them in whatever shape i can get they're five dollars always the shipping is a flat rate of five dollars so i really don't you know whatever oh my god i this is so bare. Okay, and then I saw these pairs. Sunglass Spot. I'll link their Instagram below. And from the Instagram, you can shop the site. But, like, um, then you can see them on, on 
a lot of people and they usually hashtag the model number um so you can see that and then i got these what do you guys think i don't think these are as awesome as those because they're so these when i get too thin and i wear like large lenses i look like an alien which is fine that's just your face shape but like sometimes glasses like this that really accentuate that um that look it looks too gaunt because then i feel like my body is bigger than my head um which is sometimes how i look feel like i look like that when i'm vlogging but what do you guys think of these i mean i love the lens everything and these feel like slightly um i also am probably wearing the wrong outfit like this is not the outfit to be showing you guys sunglasses in but oh, it's very windy Okay, so that's that. Okay, so I pulled the car out a little, so we're getting a little like natural light, so you can see my makeup more clearly, maybe. Okay. Um, oh, and today's Sunday, Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Um, obviously, I do not plan on going into work today, but we are, and um, so I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I definitely won't have time this weekend. Um, I don't know if I'll have time throughout the week to like sit down properly in front of like studio lights and like show you guys my makeup. So I'm gonna show it to you now, guys. So pure no filter, blurring photography primer, any kind of glow you see is from this because I do not have any highlighter on. And then I use the Maybelline Dream Cushion in number 30. Very pretty foundation. I used this yesterday too. It's just like in a rush makeup that's really great. And then I set the face with the Ulta Banana Powder. The bronzer is the Ulta Matte Bronzer in the shade Warm. I have both cool and warm when I'm feeling, not feeling, when I have more time I use both, but today we only have this one on. It is thrown on pretty haphazardly. I don't even think I cleaned up the edges. <laughs> this is just so that I don't look too dead. It's okay. For the concealer, I got this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer yesterday. And I also got this Maybelline Shine Shot Lip Top Coat. You guys see how it's like a little iridescent-y? Not gonna see it that well in this lighting. But I had, CVS gave me $2 extra bucks. Like I didn't earn them. And then my insurance gave me another $5 to CVS. And I was just like, I don't know why they're doing this, but it's totally awesome. So between like discounts and whatever, and there was like another $2 coupon for Maybelline on the app. I got both of these for like $1.62. I was really excited. So this Shine Shot is just a glimmery, shimmery, like it has glitter in it, top coat, and it's like iridescent. Whenever I apply any lip product with glitter in it, it always stings. And some of them sting to the point where I have to remove them. This one, like it disappeared after like a minute. And it's pretty. I'm sure I'll keep wearing it as just a top coat. I have it on by itself today, which you can't see that well, I'm sure. Now this stuff, this is shade number two. It is light, medium beige. It's the second lightest shade. The lightest shade and this shade, there's a huge difference. The lightest shade is quite cool toned and pink and would look really ashy on me. This is perfect for my under eyes because I don't like to go lighter. If you are an exact NC25, this should work for you. If you are on the lighter end of the spectrum, i.e. NC 20 to 25, and you're somewhere in between, this might be too dark for you. It's perfect for my under eyes. It's like the exact shade, and it has just a little bit of canceling out of, I didn't use a corrector today, so it canceled out enough, but I also am tired, so you're gonna see like my divots a little bit, but on the face, this looks slightly ashy on me, because I put it around my mouth, and I'm like, mm, that's not cute. So, but I like it. It's like a, it's dry, and when I first put it on, I thought it was very similar to um, Tarte Shape Tape because like that also is like a more, oh sorry, my back hurts, is a more matte concealer. But this, it doesn't have as much coverage and it's drier in texture, as in like it doesn't like blend as smoothly as the Tarte Shape Tape, but I still like it. I also use it under the eyes. And especially as summer's rolling through, I'm sure I'm not gonna have any issues with it looking dry. For the eyes, I just use the By Terry Bronze Moon on the lid, on the lower lash line. Yeah, I know, I didn't put any shadow on top of it. And then I use Bobbi Brown Camel in the crease. For the brows, we have the Black Up Matte Waterproof Brow Powder in number two. And then I use Anastasia Granite. And then the Liquid Liner, just to fill out the lashes a little bit, was, um, and to do the wing was the Tom Ford Deeper. 
got a better closer look of the makeup but do you guys see like oh the lashes are uh, v lux but they're in the sh they're in the style blair i really like them because they're like really like bam because like literally i have like no other makeup on like it looks like i have no other makeup on i mean obviously these brows are they is drawn on but Oh, that's good, but too bad I can't hold my camera that way ever. It's never happening. This is really pretty lighting. Or at least I think, well, you know what it is? It just, it doesn't show, like, it actually shows the angles of my face, so. That's the makeup. Okay, so, I'm not even gonna, oh my god, this is such a flattering angle. Why do I always choose to look so stunning in these vlogs? So hopefully that makeup rundown suffices for sharing some makeup with you guys. Um, I still have two, essentially two Trader Joe's hauls to share with you because when I got my tooth pulled, I had told you guys like my dentist is right around where Trader Joe's is, but when I got home I couldn't speak properly, like barely, so I didn't share it with you guys so I'm gonna like combine the two Trader Joe's grocery hauls because I went Friday night. So. Yeah, I have to share that with you. I'm so excited and then Okay back from the office. I'm gonna share some stuff with you now Okay, so I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I got this tray. Isn't it pretty? Let's move that out of the way There's like four of these and I'm like which one is my favorite? I picked this one four dollars like really pretty, right? That's the back. Probably gonna put this in the office. This, I don't know if I've ever bought anything from this brand before, Travelon, but look how pretty these bags. It was 10 bucks. And there's like seven of these bags. See? Like look, like every size. Because you know, when I travel, I'm obsessed with packing cubes. Like literally, it's like one for pants, one for tops, one for like lounge gear slash in apartment slash in Airbnb in hotel clothing, and then one for dirty clothing, one for bras and or underwear. Like I'm always like super organized when I pack because everything is black. And okay, Trader Joe's haul. I seriously hate these countertops. I hate my entire kitchen actually, but I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this house for, so I don't want to spend a lot of money to upgrade this kitchen. Um, but I seriously, I might just take my leftover, um, that marble adhesive that I used for the vanity room, I might just cover a piece of, like, spare plywood that I have, <laughs> or even a poster board, whatever, just something really inexpensive, and just, like, put it on the countertop when I do these food hauls, because I see, like, this, and I'm just like, what is this hideousness? Anyway, most important out of this entire grocery haul is this sriracha ranch dressing now in the last video i showed you guys the sriracha mayo that andrew li literally like got me hooked on and i got my parents hooked on it i was having it with like fries and then like had my parents had it with like chicken nuggets it was just so like it's so good so when i saw this i was like Ugh, i have to get this so i'm not saying this is better but i'm saying it's different um because of ranch being in it there's obviously a more complicated flavor like there's more depth which is great so something like i would want this with something simple like fries tater tots but if i have something like a corn dog then i would want the sriracha mayo because corn dogs are already sweet and salty so do you know what i mean that's kind of how i would decide so they're both excellent and obviously i already told andrew about this because i had to asap for him i got some frozen berries to go with the yogurt and chia seeds that I showed you guys in the last vlog. Riced cauliflower. This is my second time getting this. I know they have a fresh version and I know I could obviously just get my own cauliflower but this is so much easier and um it's like basically I can make like it all at once and have maybe two to three servings or like two to three meals of it with other stuff so I really like it because it's like that I'm not wasting cauliflower in a way. If that makes any sense, the balance of getting something fresh and having a lot of it and maybe wasting it versus paying a little more and then not wasting it at all. I don't know. What is the balance there? Cauliflower and broccoli patties. Um, when I was paying for these, the guy was just like, first of all, the guys in my Trader Joe's are always so nice. Every single one of them are always like conversational, but not creepy. He's like, these basically taste like potato cakes. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited because I've been obsessed with cauliflower lately, right? You guys have seen like that colored cauliflower, like that colorful cauliflower from Costco, which is amazing. 
Um, so anything with cauliflower now, I'm like, mm, let me try. I always see these. I never get them. So now we're going to try them because these are two of my favorite fruits. Mm -hmm. Two pollock paneers. A paneer tikka masala with the rice. We have these corn dogs and they're made with soy protein. These taste just like hot dogs. It's like kind of amazing to me because, well, first of all, hot dogs, what does that mean really? So, I mean, these are really good. Like I put these in the toaster oven, delicious. Carrot spirals, again with the whole, yes, I have a spiralizer and I could get fresh carrots, but something like this keeps longer. So like sometimes like I'll spiralize something and then like I'll only use half of it and I throw the rest of it away. So I hope this kind of makes sense in my uh, attempt to not be wasteful. Yeah, that's what's happening there. I grabbed this Thai red curry sauce. So we'll see if this is good. Love curry things. This is the triple filter coconut oil I was telling you guys about. I had saw this on like Trader Joe's list, the Instagram account, and I didn't know what it was and I read up on it. It's just, they take away the flavor and they take away the scent of the coconut oil. I guess so we'll see I mean I'll probably cook with this I don't know in my coffee like I really like that it tastes like coconut and on my face maybe I'll try this on my body too although I was reading just it was just one review and the girl was like it broke me out I was like oh that's not good but you know my skin's not as sensitive so it's okay I was really wanting some cheesy macaroni like the shells like I should have just got the Velveeta but I was at Trader Joe's and I saw this and I was like oh, might as well try this I don't even know why I got another bag of these. I don't, I love them, but like the state of my teeth right now, I'm literally depending on my right side to eat and like that whole side is so raw. I don't know when I'm gonna eat this. These are so hard. Like I don't, this is gonna be for, I don't know, months from now. These are the blueberry walks into a bar cereal bars. Okay, there was an entire aisle at Trader Joe's that I was skipping every single time and it's where they have like all the cereals and oatmeals and these kind of things. <laughs> Why was I skipping an aisle? I have no idea. I don't know what I thought was in the aisle. Like I think I thought it was like flour and almond flour and you know like pills and it, that is there but that's just one side but the whole other side has like breakfast foods that I, yeah, so got these. These are really yummy. I've had one already. I had one of these the day I got back from getting my tooth pulled because it was literally the only thing that I could put in my my mouth and like just kind of let it melt and then slide down my throat these i've already dug into the organic stone ground blue corn tortilla chips with these fancy things i like these these are really good they're kind of airy if you know what i mean like they're not like a flat kind of tortilla chip it's a little crispy and like puffed with some air if that makes any sense these are so good they don't stick to your teeth, but they're still really soft and chewy. Red licorice. Oh my God, Andrew. I know you love like that soft licorice. This flavor tastes so good. And strawberry banana is also so good. I mean, the other three, cherry, sour, apple, watermelon, those were really good too. But red licorice and strawberry banana. Guys, just go, if you go, get, get some of this. Why did I stutter? I don't know. Is this only here for like Easter times or is it gonna be here for like summertime? Because I need it to be here for summertime. Good morning, Monday morning. So, who do I have sunglasses? Where are my sunglasses? Um, okay, so we have the Marc Jacobs. I don't remember the name of these. I think these are Andrew's favorite. Um, and you're like, Jen, didn't you just buy like so many like sunglasses? Yeah, but <laughs> I like grabbed this scarf and I was like, but this is the best sunglasses for it. So that's why we did that. Um, so like I said, I went to the office because I wanted to get these block sale orders done so I could get them out today since I was going to be leaving to go pick up some stuff anyway. Okay, so I've been sent on a mission to look for super glue and modeling clay. I found super glue here. This is Mark's for my Ohio girls and boys. Look, Burberry sunglass case. So nice, right? $1.99. I got two of them. They also had like Coach, Ralph Lauren, Fendi. What else did I see? But they weren't as cute. I mean, not as cute, just like, this is the shape I like. You know how I love my Prada one? There's one that Prada does, it's so great that it opens from the top. And this one, it's so nice. And they're like black and gold, so very me. And they're just like really nice. I'm so excited, $1.99. Oh, Versace, they have Versace. 
Okay, I don't know why modeling clay became so difficult to find, but I finally found it at Target. And I got a coffee frappuccino because Starbucks had a thing where it's like if you buy a frappuccino by like today, you get 40 stars. I always try to do these things, not do them, like I join every like star dash and I never do them because it's like you need to buy three things. I'm like, no, I don't go to Starbucks like that. But it happened to be in the Target, so 40 stars for me. Mmm. Also, this is really good. Have I just not got a coffee frappuccino before? I feel like I've never gotten one. It's delicious. Okay, these broccoli cauliflower patties, super yum. Got it with the spicy, or the sriracha ranch. Um, I did it where I followed the oven instructions and then I popped it in the toaster afterwards so I could get the crispy edges. Also, these are both super yum. Um, I borderline like the raspberry a tiny bit more, probably because it's vanilla cream. Um, they're both super good though. I like fresh mangoes in real life over fresh raspberries, but I like these over these in Trader Joe's cream bar life, right? Just saying, but they're both good. Okay, some really great PR. Cute bandana, it's all from e.l.f. So I've been wanting to try their new lashes for a while. They have like a luxer version, luxer, luxe version. And this style is totally one that I would wear. Um, these things are a little dusty because this stuff is like a little dusty. I've already dug into a lot of the stuff, obviously. So this is an illuminator. I think this is just called the shade Illuminating. And it's like the white version of it. This was just kind of like, um, it looked really pretty when I squeezed it out and swatched it, but when I blended it, it just kind of blended away. So I don't know that this is very like, and you guys know I love a really like soft highlight, but this was just blended away. These I've used before, but I feel like I haven't tried this color. Soiree, is this like newer? The last time I tried these had to be years ago. This color is so me though, right? I mean, look, it's like this kind of burgundy reddish color. Um, this beautiful color. I don't know that I'm gonna dig into this. Maybe we'll save that for a giveaway. And then this blush and bronzing powder in St. Lucia, also probably gonna put this in a giveaway. These two things, these oils. Any positive review that you've seen, because I've only seen positive reviews on these, they are as good as they say. This is Coral Kiss and this is Berry Kiss. And I thought, you know, loving nudes and stuff, I would love Coral Kiss more. Berry Kiss is beautiful. These will be like in a makeup breakdown, like when I show you guys my makeup, because I wore this. This lasts a good four to five hours. Moisturizing, you know, it has like a tint. Um, but I don't think... It explains that there's like a, a stain and the stain is so pretty. It reminds me of the way the Givenchy lipsticks shane, shane, stain on me. Um, stain on me sounds so gross. Anyway, yes, very excited for these. You'll see these in a makeup like breakdown thing and I'll, you'll see these and of course this. Good morning. Okay, so I don't know if I have enough footage for this vlog so I'm just vlogging more now. Um, important things. What did I want to share? Sephora VIB. This is what I picked up. I got the Do You Do Drops from Marc Jacobs. I've been like waiting for the sale to pick this up because I mean, hello, first of all, packaging, super crazy beautiful. And then the product, you need very little. Mm, I feel like it dries pretty quickly. So you really decide where you want it and then just put it on. I have it, not in this lighting, you're not gonna see, but it's down the nose. Well, maybe you see it a little bit. And it's definitely like on this entire part of my <sighs> cheeks above the lip, love it, totally, you know, grab it. I think, I mean, it is limited edition. Um, and then this, I picked up off the Marc Jacobs website, not off of Sephora, because it's been out of stock, like the second it hit, I think even just for VIB Rouge, you know how like they like release things for VIB Rouge like a day or two in advance? I think within like, I've never seen it on there since. So it's like you need to stock like, is it Neiman's and Bergdorf maybe? And then I picked this up off the Marc Jacobs website. It's the Omega Bronze and Tantastic. I love it. I love it more than I like Tantric, the original one. Um, maybe they'll make this permanent. I mean, that would be so great. So, um, I got two because, I mean, I had to get free shipping. I was like, there's nothing else that I want from Marc Jacobs because I had already put in my Sephora order and I was already getting this. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to put the other one on the blog sale or if I'm going to keep it. 
I don't know if I should keep it because you get <laughs> 25 grams of product in here. I'm never going to get through this. Um, and if I do put it on the block sale, it'll be like, how much is this? Ah, sorry, itch. 49 is it like 49 bucks or something. It'll be on there for like less than that. Maybe like 45 or yeah, something like that. Okay. That super love. This also you can pick up off the VIV sale off of Sephora, but I picked mine off of Spring um, because I love Spring, because I love that there's no tax and it's free shipping and free returns for everything. Even the Tarte sale, the Tarte friends and family sale, I did my whole Tarte friends and family sale off of Spring because the prices were reflected on the Spring website and there's like no minimum for shipping. So even if you wanted just one item from the sale, you didn't need to kind of you know, meet a like shipping threshold. I mean, I was beyond th the shipping threshold anyway, but I always like the cash back offered on Spring better and it's really easy to return stuff. Um, I think in the past when I had talked about Spring, like maybe in, was it February? Um, I hadn't returned items yet, but at this point in time, I've returned like a coat to Yooks. I've returned a camera to um, B&H. I've returned, no, Adorama. And I've returned like a pair of sandals to Tori, is it Tori Birch? I don't know, but like I've had returns done through spring and they've been super successful. Um, essentially, if you, oh my God, why am I talking so much? <laughs> this has nothing to do with this. Essentially, as long as there's a label included in your purchase, you can ship it back to the retailer. Um, and if there isn't one, you would just contact spring and they work something out for you. Oh my God, shut up. Anyway, this is a Marc Jacobs enamored with a twist you get three of their lip glosses and it comes in this box this bag so cute not like a cheapy bag like really beautifully well-made bag these are the three shades you get this top one is called pink steam so sexy this center one is called want me and then this last one is french tickler i don't know if these two are permanent but i know this one is french tickler this is a very popular one a lot of people Got this shade, so let me swatch them for you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this like quickly. And I would just bear in mind that none of these are like very, they look like there's a differentiation in the color, but when they go on your lips, they might look fairly similar. I really wanna show you guys the purple one. The purple one, I, oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God. I have two more. These are ones that I've had in my collection for not a while, maybe a couple years. I have Taboo, which is like my absolute favorite because it's a My Lips But Better color. And then I have Pretty Thing, which is like a peachy, um, very peachy color. Pink Steam, French Tickler, Want Me. And then those are the ones I have. I have Taboo and I have Pretty Thing. I mean, obviously those are very me colors, but this color looks amazing this gives it a little milkiness to any like lip look and then this is just essentially a clear gloss i'm trying to figure out why people love this one's so popular but i mean this color looks amazing on um these nails oh my god should share um oh my god brain fire wallace from butter london super pretty i've had it for a while i just haven't really worn it weird huh but such a pretty color Anyway, so I purchased that trio off of Spring because it's on there twice. One for the original price, which is $54, um, and it's also $54 on Sephora's site. But on Spring, there's also listed, it's also listed for $49 and some cash back. So I purchased this before the sale, but I wanted to share it with you because it's like a really good trio. These glosses are amazing. And to get three full-size ones for that price is so awesome. And you get a cute bag. Probably not going to use it, but it's there. Lastly, from the VIB sale, I picked up the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer, the Hydrate in Medium Beige, which you guys, oh my god, what is going on with this lighting? I'm like salmon colored. Oh my god. How many roots can we see right now? I don't even care about roots. I care about gray hairs. You know how many gray hairs I've had? I've been like gray since I was like 22. It's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> As we bring more attention to it. Damn, Ugh, I'm so upset. I'm, I'm so upset. I feel like I, I essentially need to dye my hair every week, but I don't do that. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, this concealer, you guys have seen it so many times in like so many makeup videos where I've not, but like in the vlogs where I show you guys my makeup. I just love it. So you guys have seen like how little I have left. Like when I like, oh, this one's like broken. What? Ugh whatever 
I'll still use it. It's like not that broken, but medium beige is my color and I'm an NC25. I use this on my mom. It looks so good. I really feel like if you have really dry skin or if you have aging skin, it's aged skin. I don't know what you want to call it at this point, but this is such a good concealer. And then lastly, I picked up this sun safety kit. I'm pretty sure I'm going to return it. Uh, what drew me in was like the idea of all these different sunscreens, but then I'm like looking at it more closely. I'm like, it's not expensive, 32, and then you get a little discount on it. You're essentially paying for samples, which is fine. I have no problem with that. I, I enjoy the like Sephora favorites kits a lot, but I thought this was a little waste for me because like the cover effects clear cover I love and I have the full size so I don't know that I need and I was looking at how big these were like they are really sample size which I shouldn't be surprised by because that's what they tell you um, and this Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield I love this but it's very silicone-y on me so I sold that on a blog sale this is a Sugar Nude from Fresh I don't really like that color I don't like the Josie Marin <laughs> Moisturizer and I'd like to try the Shiseido and the Peter Thomas Roth, and I really want to try the Super Goop um, SPF like setting mist. Uh, but I just, I don't know, I'm just probably going to return it because why keep it if I'm just kind of like, eh, about it. I think these really depend. There are ones like Sephora Favorites kits that I bought that I really love because I really wanted to try a lot of the products or I really wanted to have like smaller versions of something. But I think um, it's definitely a good buy if you're into it. And there's like two things for your body and I'm not into like faux tanning, so... It's going back, but totally good deal if you want it. I wanted to share, like, makeup-wise, these e.l.f. lip oils. I had showed them to you, like, in the PR box. Oh my god, so salmon-colored. Oh my god. See, the only way to do these videos is to, like, not move. And I'm moving all the time, and the camera doesn't like that. So these are the two shades, Coral Kiss and Berry Kiss. I'm going to do swatches for you on my hand, but I'm going to put Coral Kiss on for you. Um, I really love Berry Kiss, though. We'll do Berry Kiss, like, next vlog. So those are swatches, and you look at Coral Kiss, it looks very pink. Um, Berry Kiss is beautiful, oh my god. So, let me show you, do you see this applicator? It's hard to tell because I can't um, kind of measure, what do you call it? Oh my god, what is it, what do you say, like, scale? You guys can't really tell, it just looks like an applicator that has like a bit of a divot in it but it's actually really small and very kind of awkward. <laughs> it goes weird on my lips. I always just flip it and just use the flat end, but it's so pretty. Okay. So because it's an oil, I feel like when it goes on, it looks very um, streaky. But the second you just, your lips together, it's so pretty. Do you guys see this? It might just look like a gloss to you, but it is gorgeous and it makes your lips look really healthy really kind of like makes them look a little blurred and cloudy the way i don't know i love that look i love like milky looking lips also it feels so nice it wears off in about four to five hours and then you're just left with a stain and like a really perfect stain i love this product so much um two days ago was it two days ago andrew texted me he's like oh my god those lip oils are like so good and i was like oh my god i vlogged about them like the day before we were just you know we went on a little about how great these were so he loves them they're like you know two thumbs up you know we each get a thumb anyway so what else did i want to share with you i'm sorry i'm in such a rush because i'm like trying to get to work oh i still have time okay Something else I wanted to share with you. You know this um, camo jacket that you see like in every vlog because I love it so much. It's from Forever 21. I always try to link it below when it's there, but the original price is $37.90. Um, when, so, not Sephora, Forever 21 was doing a sale. This is already in the sale section, um, but they were doing 30% off and I got it for 21. So I just bought another one. I know that's, is that stupid? No, it's not because it's super durable and I keep wearing it that I feel like I should just have another one eventually. I mean, camo doesn't go out of style or whatever. Also, I like that it's like green on green on green instead of your usual kind of like brown in the mix or even black. Sometimes black in camo, I need it to be like less black and more the other colors, whereas this is like a really dark green and olive and kind of like a lighter green, love. So, oh, and the other thing. All right, never mind. I was like attempting to show you something, but that was not happening. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have so much I wanna share with you guys. I'm hoping to do 
I mean, I'll do a Sephora VIB sale haul video, but I'll probably include a lot of things that I picked up not at Sephora that you can get at Sephora, if that makes any sense. And I have so many hauls I haven't done. Like, I don't think I've hauled anything since the beginning of the year. I really don't think so. So we're going to have to maybe even, yeah, okay, we really need to crack down this weekend and do some of that stuff. So I will talk to you guys soon.